Hi, let's learn how to embroider a cotton clothesline rope basket using cotton clothesline rope. Hi, I'm Pam. In this video tutorial, I'd like to show you how to embroider a rope basket or rope bowl. A couple of examples of the rope baskets that I have embroidered. First of all, you'll need to have your rope basket started. And I will cover that in another video. But for now, to do the embroidery on the rope baskets, you'll of course need an embroidery machine. I have my brother PE770 here. This machine has actually been discontinued. I believe the 800 model is now available for purchase, but you can do this with any embroidery machine that you have. You will also need some basting spray. I use this spray and bond basting adhesive. You will also need some tear away stabilizer. And here I have my tear away stabilizer already hooped and I use the spray adhesive on the back of the base of my rope basket and I have adhered that to the center of my hoop. And now I'm going to hoop this and start my design. So I am loading my machine with the first color that I will use in my embroidery design. And just a note, I'm using white thread in my bobbin. So on my machine, I'm just getting my design loaded. I have it saved to a flash drive. And now I'm going to make sure I have the uh, needle centered in the center of my rope. Once I'm happy with that, I'll just press start, holding onto my thread as I begin, and then I'm going to trim off that tail of the thread. I also like to stop throughout my project and trim the jump threads. You can wait until the end, but if you wait until the end, you're likely to have stitching over top of the jump threads and they'll be harder to remove. I just think it creates a neater uh, embroidered project if you trim the jump threads as you go. In case you're wondering what the jump threads are, those are when your machine literally jumps from one portion of your fabric, or in this case the robe, to the other part, to another part, and it leaves behind this tail of thread. So I just like to pause my machine, use my embroidery scissors, and or a pair of small snips, and just trim the thread off close to the uh, fabric or the rope. And I would just follow the prompts on my screen to continue to change my thread colors. I have my threads all lined up beside my embroidery machine in the order in which I will be using them in the machine. Okay, so I have my color change chart, chart already printed out, but I also keep it handy on my laptop where I can see all the colors. And what I do is I take my color change chart and I write down the numbers. Um, like this is a Madeira thread number 1049. That same number for my project is 513 for the particular brand of thread that I'm using. So I have those numbers all written out on my color changed chart. And then what I do is I line all my threads up in a row according to the color change uh, sequence. So that when one thread quits, like just now, I remove that thread, set it aside on the other side of my machine, and then I'm ready to load my machine with the next color change. Now that my design is through embroidering, I will remove my hoop from my machine, unhoop my uh, rope, and tear away the stabilizer. I'll then go back to my sewing machine where I will continue to make my rope basket. You'll find a video tutorial on how to make the rope basket 
on my channel. Thanks so much for watching this YouTube video. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to like it and subscribe to my channel so you'll be the first to know when new ideas are made available. Thank you so much and be sure to visit me over on the Birch Cottage blog and subscribe to my newsletter. Thanks so much.